Hello everyone, Jeff here. Welcome back to the channel. Um, we're going to be playing more Chaos Mode Brotato today, but today it's going to be a little bit of a twist because I do think that the past couple runs have just devolved into being a little too easy. So for this run, we're not going to be able to reroll ever. And that's going to force us to make some bad decisions. So let's see what we have. The map is very small. Um, looking at our stats right now, not great. Uh, we have a mechanical boomerang that drops consumable for every six shots. That's pretty good. We have an entrepreneur that does minus three, minus five speed. Um, chance to summon carnivorous plants. Uh, attack speed running below 50 and a minus 100 range. And kid is... Damage down, you start with four sausages, 200% pickup range, 200% pickup range, and the scared sausages give harvesting. Okay, cool. So, I think this is a fairly decent start. We have some damage down, but we have a lot of economy. We also have an extremely, wait, why is the map so small? GMO! I forgot about GMO. Get items instead of upgrades when you level up, okay. Okay, um, so yeah, we are not allowed to reroll for this entire run. I'm gonna do my best not to instinctively do it, but uh, we'll see if this makes it a challenge. If it doesn't, then we'll just move on to something different. Can't equip melee weapons. Um, that means we only get ranged weapons in the shop. See, here's the problem. Why am I not just taking Lost Duck? <laughs> it's 100% attack speed. And then, um, injection? And then the run's over? The first weapon in the next shot will be replaced with morphine. We just take mechanical boomerang. And that's it. But, like... I think we're on wave two and we've already won. And it's kind of like... <laughs> this is the problem with chaos mode. I think is that the highs are too high. I know it's kind of the point, but we really shouldn't be getting 100% attack speed rolls just like that. Okay, you know what? Give the enemies 250% health. Maybe we just take every item we find. We have to take every consumable we pick up. We're going to do that too. Uh, and just see what happens. Um, not consumable. Every box we pick up. Uh, give me UAV. Uh, get items. This is for engineering. I'll take recycling machine. It's fine. 300% enemies. Shops always sell bait. What does bait do, I wonder? 95% weapon price down? Okay. I'm gonna buy both of these. No rerolls. Uh, what? 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 <laughs> what is this? Wait, 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 what? Um, is it tear gas? Why is, why is it exploding for so much? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is so much. So I've been thinking. And I'm going to post this on the community tab on YouTube and Discord as well. How would you all feel about me attempting 182% Brotato? Um, I'm going to take damage and, and, meet, and move speed down. Uh, um, bag seems good here. Magical plant is fine. Um, terrified onion. 300% more enemies. Okay. Hexonium armor. This is new. Yes. So I would like that. Well, this is incredibly degenerate. Uh, baits are pretty good, too. So how would you all feel about 182% potato? What that is, is if you go into the settings, you can increase the damage, health, and speed of enemies by um, 100, 150 respectively. 
It is the max default difficulty you can play the game on and then playing the game with no mods um, and going through all the vanilla characters and trying to do that. So that would be more of a series of challenge runs more so than like the nonsense that we currently are playing. I have 2000 materials on wave four. This is absolutely insane. Boxing glove is fine. Just taking anything that's not negative, honestly. Oh, oh, robbery. 90% dodge cap and 25% damage against bosses. Good. That's great. Um, seems fine. You start with one ricochet. Uh, but at 300% more enemies. About that. Uh, yep, more materials. Text API crash. That's a stat. Oh no, now we have three baits. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, it's gonna get crowded. So yeah, I'm just curious, what would you guys do? Do you want to see more nonsense stuff with like GMO and new characters? I'm fine going back to that. This is gonna be my last chaos run for a while, but we're gonna like soak it in because like this is absolutely silly right now. Um, but yeah, would we rather see like vanilla challenge, try hard, hard mode stuff for like optimal Brotato gameplay or would we rather see nonsense new characters? Next item purchase will be purchased two times. Sure. Um, right, warrior helmet seems okay. Magic mirror is good. Explosion size. Uh, you start with an improved tools. That's not good here. Uh, minus three knockback, I guess. It's the best we could do. Hey, we got a little retromation engineering up. Every time you break an illusion, well, that doesn't really do anything. Um, I'm gonna take leather vest. And we'll take uh, mutation. And crit damage, crit chance of range damage. Yeah, that's fine. And then we're gonna buy all of these again. Not allowed to reroll. What happens here? Projectiles explode on hit. That's kind of what we expected. Uh, we have to keep moving because it gives us materials. Uh, because we can't reroll, we're never really gonna make full use of our economy. I'm going to turn off explosions right now. I actually think we're going to lose this run, oddly enough, um, because we took so many enemies on a small map and now we have three baits in the shop and we can't reroll. Uh, what we're actually going to see is kind of not great. However, we are going to get a lot of level up, so I, maybe it'll maybe it'll work out. We have 9, 11, 1. All right, all green. Uh, yes, yes. See, why is it ranged damage mods by 250%? That's just insane. Uh, I almost rerolled there. Uh, I'll take investments. Oh, golly. Oh, golly. These are a lot of stats. Um... One max HP for every 100 materials you have. No. See, this isn't great. Um, I think we take med kit and just hope we don't get hit. Inhibitor. Take this. Explosion size and max HP, probably. Uh, pickup range and enemy speed down. That's pretty good. Oh, sun is all positive. Uh, ultra mush. No, take the sun. Get the dodge. We'll get 12 weapons. Then we buy all of these. Can't attack while moving. Nope. Nope. At least the shop's fast.
it was brought to my attention that it's Puchita and not Poochie from Chainsaw Man. My apologies to the weebs out there. I actually only watched like five or six episodes. Norm I mean, I tend to watch a lot of anime with my wife and whatnot, and she kind of got bored of it. She just wasn't feeling it. I just haven't gotten back to finishing it of the first season. I, at this point, I'm kind of just going to wait for a second one. Assuming there is going to be a second one. Right now, I'm pretty content with Jujutsu Kaisen and Bleach. Uh, our HP is doing fairly nicely. You know, this is like a stipulation. Oh, we have to take all of those, right? Right. Um, I guess we take HP regen down. Lens is good. Uh, minus 100 range damage, no. No, I don't want goggles either. Ugh. Let's take gnome. We don't care about item price. Um. Extra onion? I guess? I don't know. One death protection? Okay. I don't know how I feel about some of this. Can't equip melee weapons. Cause it's crit chance and that. One armor pickup range. Let's take crit chance and infect. Um. I'll take another gnome. My right, pocket watch is fine. Dodge is capped at 90. I mean, that's fine, but like, what are we doing with it? I'll take octuple lens, I guess. We're gonna buy all these. Your attack mode is Blade Storm. That's not what we need here. Oh, it's a good thing we're picking up these random weapons. What? have we summoned? I don't even know what half of these things are, to be honest, at this point. Maybe, you know what? Maybe we go back to just... I thought I was dying, I couldn't tell. Maybe we go back to just trying characters without GMO individually. Uh, I hate to reference this, but kind of like what Retromation has been doing, just like going through each character day by day. There's still a few GMO runs that people request that I'm going to do, like... Uh, um, what is it? Baby Baby, I think. For like some stupid busted garden run, which don't worry, I'm gonna I'm gonna do all of those. But I'm talking about like after you know after four or five days or so of the requested runs, where do we go from here as a channel? Wanna keep growing and whatnot. Also, if there's any other games you'd like to see me play, I'm not gonna I'm I was supposed to take that, my bad. You could start with any Exitonian weapon, sure. Okay, baby with the beard, we have to take it, we have to take it. Oh wait, no, those were levels up, I didn't have to take those, I'm so dumb. Uh, whatever. My bad. Um... So yeah, like, obviously I'm... Personally, just straight up addicted to Baldur's Gate 3. That's just how it is, but I know this channel is built on the back of roguelikes, specifically Brotato. Um, and other things like it. I know Soulstone Survivors, we played a bit of that a while back. I still have Cult of the Lamb and Hades sitting in my Steam inventory, like the Steam uh, library with a ton of other games and a bunch of small, you know, indie games that people have sent to me and whatnot. So, I don't know. Send me suggestions. Put them in the comments. It's one, it's good for the video. Two, it helps me. And if you want to join the Discord and talk more about it, I've got game I got a game suggestion uh channel specifically for that. Now I don't promise that I will play it more than one time, but I typically will give everything a shot. Um I'm gonna take this. And we're just gonna see what happens. We have 10,000 materials, so it's gonna convert that into HP. 
so it should be good. I mean, nothing has happened this run, and I don't think anything's going to happen just because of the sheer number of nonsense things we have going on. So I hope you're enjoying Jeff's podcast time while Brotato's in the background. I actually just had a chicken tender wrap that I make. I get chicken tenders that they make at the local grocery store and they're delicious. Um, and then get like a tortilla wrap and put some lettuce and some cheese and a little bit of ranch. And it's a delicious, delicious food snack. It can be dinner if you like, you may have a big size portion, but um, yeah, it's, it's fantastic. I don't know. I don't know. That's that's why I, my my stomach is happy. So that's we're at twelve hundred HP. Okay. Um. Yep. That seems all good. I mean, this is kind of good. Maybe eventually. Let's buy these things, and this dark book. That's probably good. That's probably good. It says something about katanas, but whatever. That's fine. You know who cares. Um. This is... This screen is almost as cluttered as a Diablo 4 dungeon with, like, two necromancers. It's crazy. Although, due to the color palette, I think I can see this stuff better. I don't know, I feel like... I feel like shitting on Diablo 4 is never really gonna get old until they fix the game. <laughs> that video they recently posted of the... I feel so bad for the, the girls, uh... Are they them? I don't really know. Uh, <laughs> who, who are like art designers and level designers who just looked like they never played a Diablo game in their life. I mean, I understand the average gamer isn't... Uh, oh, we have to take all these, so we'll see what happens. The average gamer is not like the people like playing Brotato or watching this channel, right? Like, the, you guys are the elite. <laughs> the devoted, the devoted few, and but like, how do you watch a video so bad? Like, if you haven't seen it, it's really bad. It's got like 98, 99 percent dislike rate ratio. But like, how? I that's why I feel so bad for them because they just like got put in the spotlight, and just blasted. That I can't believe no one watched it. And was like, hey guys, we can't, we can't release this. Like. <laughs> like the internet is gonna eat these girls alive and they don't deserve that now should they probably know how to play a game that they're working on uh, uh kind of i would agree with that but at the same time i i think it's okay that they know like it's okay that they're very bad and they just like play the game. I don't know. It did kind of look like it was the first time they'd ever played the game though. And that, that was the part that was rough. So it was like, could have spent a little more time practicing maybe. Like dying on world tier one is kind of embarrassing in that game to a random dungeon. Like if you die and World Tier 1 to, I don't know, Lilith or, you know, Endarial or one of the big bosses. It's whatever. It's just a game. But if you're dying to, like, random trash in a dungeon, not using any abilities but your basic swing, like... It's like the one time the guy played uh, Cuphead and, like, the game's journalist and couldn't get out of his tutorial because he didn't figure out how to dash jump. It's brutal. Like, what What are you doing? It's like such a PR fail. I feel like in any other industry, I was supposed to take that, my, my, my bad. Uh, I feel like in any other industry, you immediately get just like, Brucify for that type of thing. Oh, the map is significantly bigger all of a sudden. Well, 
It's a good thing our explosive si explosion size is quite large. Hey, there's an elite somewhere. I I think he died. I don't know. Yeah, this will be a faster video and also, you know, it's a bridge. Hopefully you guys comment so I can have some direction. I think if nobody says anything, I'm just going to continue with... I don't know. We'll figure it out. Well, you know what really sucked is that Hammer Watch 2 just came out and we played the demo of that like a month ago when I was streaming for the, the Steam Next Fest. And I thought, oh, this game is incredible. It's like a top-down action role-playing game and I thought oh it's got like heavy heavy RPG on it elements and like really fun uh like isometric uh style action like you know Diablo kind of we have to take all this uh Diablo style combat I was like okay that's fine but um yeah why did it have to come out right after Baldur's Gate 3 so now all the like freaking RPG stuff is going to seem a little weak, but I still want to play it. It's also like a four player co-op game. It it just it's out now if you're seeing this video. So highly recommend if you don't get that throw it on your wish list or at least take a look at it in Steam. I'm not sponsored. I just think it's awesome. And I kind of want to like I feel like that's what this channel is about. It's like we eh. I only want to shit on games when it's appropriate, especially not smaller games, and I want to promote smaller games as much as possible. If they're quality, right? I don't want to... If something's bad, I'm not going to platform it if I think it's bad. I might give my feedback to be like, hey, maybe don't... You know, maybe fix a few things before you drop it to the masses, because they're going to eat you up. Because that's, I mean, that's the whole thing, right? I just don't want, I don't want small developers suffering because they're like, you know, they thought their thing was great, but it was actually not great. Okay, well, that's terrible. There's a whole lot of things that don't really help us. Thankfully, we're still doing, um, I'm going to say just fine. Oh, you know, I just started looking at our um, at our damage meter there on the bottom right. It does appear that tear gas is uh, doing all of the work. With a slight shout out to uh, the dark book, chaos book. I don't know the one that's shooting eyeballs. The Cthulhu book. I don't. Yeah, so here's the problem, right? Like, even if we aren't doing much damage, um, we have 7,000 HP. And now we have 9,000 HP. So, like, how do we lose? Oh, look, a thousand, 10,000 percent damage. It I'm just going to click all these and see if anything bad happens. 8 hits taken are nullified every wave. Okay, yeah, that, I mean, that's it's pretty good. Although we are pinging ourselves so maybe not as incredible oh my gosh yeah I'm gonna have to carry <laughs> have to carry this video with my with my dialogue and if it's not the gameplay we're doing very little damage I'm noticing thankfully we're slowing the enemies so much that they're not really doing anything either wait Our XP bar hasn't moved. Did we pick up something that prevented us from gaining XP? Or did the game literally break because we have too much XP gain? Because realistically, we should be like level, I don't know, 80 something right now. I, I was wondering about that a second ago, but I was like, ah, it's not really think I'm just talking. Sure, sure, whatever. We have, we have 6,900 XP gain, and 
I wonder if this is a GMO combines. Broke it. I don't know. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Wow. Well, yeah, oh, that's the thing. Balls are going to melt because we have like 10,000. Maybe more than 10,000. We have gotten twice. I don't know. Um, I guess me talking helped because now we're getting a bunch of levels. Um, what happened? Did any, did some, I'm confused. What did we buy that changed this? <laughs> um, we've gained 40 levels so far. Are we gonna get 50 levels this wave? I think so, or close to it. What? Oh my god. Okay, here we go. Oh no! No, we gained 80 levels. Alright. We could do this two ways. I could go through here and look through everything. Or we could take literally everything and see what happens. Um, I'm gonna take the left option every time. I wish the size didn't change. I wonder what our stats are looking like right now. I see we have max dodge. Who knows what we're going to end up with? Like, it could be anything. We do it for the content though. Uh oh no. Oh. Oh, something went very bad. <laughs> something uh fruit battery has a no text. Oh, we buy with harvesting. Oh, we can go negative on harvesting. Oh, that's why they said buy negative. Okay, I see. Yeah, it's infinite money. Um We're gonna die. We're gonna die now. Um. What did it to us? What item was the mind killer? Um, minus one speed. Oh no, we can't move either now. She. <laughs> um. I'm still looking. Uh, we can uproot things as trees. Oh, we have heavy bullets. That's nice. Minus 15% attack speed for every tier one weapon you have. That's not particularly good here. Um, I don't know what gave us all the minus damage. Well, it's oh, the map's small again. OK. Um, oh, we have 17 HP now. I think we're dead. Are oh, the game crashed? Yeah, the game crashed. That's kind of not surprising. What happens if we like? OK, hear me out. I'm going to restart the game real quick. And then we're going to like. Just see, see if you can hit resume and see what happens, because I haven't resumed a run yet like this. Um, I'm going to hit resume. OK, everything's gone, right? We're going to start. We have we have like 200 HP. Um, and we're dead and the game's crashed. OK, well, you know, that's just how it goes. Anyways, um, <laughs> I'll put some different image up here, maybe of one of my cats in this meantime. Thanks for watching, guys. I think we're done with chaos mode for now. That was a lot, but it was kind of funny. Also, uh, again, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you all want to see next as we move forward with the future of Brotato and other games. But yeah. Appreciate you watching. Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.